Right. You know, we, we did a much better job coming out the second half. They, they still beat us in that second half, but um, I, thought, I thought we kept our intensity up a little bit. Defense was um, a little more aggressive. We got some steals in that and I'm trying to see how many turnovers. You know, we, they had some turnovers in the second half that, that really hurt them, but um, they, they didn't have as many open shots. Yeah, and, and that was that was key. I thought Louisiana Tech had some open shots in that second half. But, um, it, you know, it was good to see, again, our, our rebounding. Um, kept us in. You know, we had some players really hit the boards, and, and I think, you know, looking at it, Olivia with 10 rebounds, I mean, that's great from your guard. Yeah, no question about it. I know you take a look at some of those possessions 42 to 29, two lane out rebounding ULM. Daniel Blagg being able to hit some of those threes, I thought kind of stopped some of the momentum that ULM had a, a couple of times. Uh, yeah, she really helped us, and, and once again, I think Danielle with her uh, with her shooting certainly helped us, but you look at her rebounds, you know, she had some, some block shots, she had uh, just her hands and a lot of things. It, it's really tough to, people don't realize, but it's really tough to score over Danielle. So, you know, she really bothers them on defense. And, and when we made that run and, and kind of took over the lead and didn't relinquish it, you know, she, she really helped us on that run. Well, Tiffany Dale didn't play on Friday. And I know we saw her kind of working on her foot a little. Did she play on Friday? Yeah, I thought yeah. she didn't. We didn't know if she was playing tonight. Oh, she got right. hurt in practice. And, right. uh, and I'm, glad yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm she glad she did. Yeah, I'm glad she did. She came on that first half and really. Um, help the team in that first half kind of establish a low point. She did. And I, I, she played really aggressive. I, I like to see Tiffany be a little stronger on the boards, but just offensively, she, she's somebody we really go to, and and uh, she alters a lot. When you when you look at the films from from these two games, you're going to see Tiffany uh, going and help and altering some shots, even if she doesn't block them. So she's a big presence for us. I mean, obviously that five spot is is tough for us right now. Brittany McDonald had a tough night tonight, but you know she's in there fighting, and and, and Chin Wei I think has to you know really get used to the speed of this game, but it, it's. You know, I think those two will really help us as they come along. And, um, you know, it was a good win. We went in on the road. And, and one of the things that we're trying to, uh, to accomplish is, is be able to play a lot of players and get good minutes from them. We're really challenging them to come in and do what they do. You know, if they're a rebounder, they got to come in and, and do that. If they're uh, a, a scorer or a shooter, I thought Katie McGee had a really good game tonight and, and hit some open shots. And, and also, I, she played very well defensively, and she used her size tonight. So uh, we're going to keep developing. I think the players will, will start understanding their roles a little bit, and, and we can keep that defensive pressure on. I thought Jamie Copeland was one of those mm -hmm. players, too, a lot of times she did. with those turnovers. She seemed to calm things down with the dribble, could handle it, and I thought it really kind of calmed things. Well, I, I thought her penetration, her attacking a little bit more and being a little aggressive when, when they were trying to press up on us, I thought she created there. She, she drew a foul. She, she made a shot. But she also drew the defense in and got some other people's shots. All right, looking ahead, this was the first of four road games. And next up is Southern. Kind of things you want to look to improve on heading into that game on Friday. Well, just just the things. The turnovers are a real problem for us right now, and and we've got to we've got to handle that. And our turnovers aren't coming against presses. I mean, we're our own worst enemy with our turnovers. Um, Southern really played very well against us last year, and and we probably should have lost that game. Um, and uh, we came back and took it in the last little bit. But I think they're going to be very confident playing us. And, and, and playing in Baton Rouge, that's not, a, that's not an easy place to play. So we're going to have to be ready um, for a very hostile environment and, and be ready to, to play a little more consistently. Great. Thank you, Lisa, for your time. And 2-0, 2-0 right. Green Wave. Thank Th you. Appreciate it. Thank you.